JDU Manipur State Unit condemns Citizenship Amendment Bill 2016. Forsakes all political party meeting to discuss the bill called by Chief Minister N. Birin on January 28. Student bodies resolve to intensify agitation against CAP 2016 by carrying out protest meets towards rallies both in Manipur and New Delhi. Congress leader Okram Joy condemns CAP 2016 as BJP's ploy to woo voters in view of upcoming Lok Sabha elections and to convert India into Hindu land. Amokok demands Director of College Development Council Manipur University to clarify his statement that Muslims of Manipur are not indigenous inhabitants of Manipur. Manipur gears up for 17th Republic Day celebration amid boycott called by student bodies and insurgent groups. An International Weightlifting Federation revokes provisional suspension on CWG gold medalist K. Sanjita Chenu for a failed dog taste. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. And I'm Premi Thangjim bringing you the top stories. President of Janata Dal United JDU Manipur State Unit Hankan Pao Taitun denounced that all political me party meeting to discuss on CAP 2016 called by Chief Minister Nongthom Bambirin on January 28. Speaking to media on J uh, JDU office in Chekon today, the party president reiterated that the party will not attend the meeting and in fact will boycott the meeting. He said JDU has always stood against the bill inside and outside the parliament. He condemned the state government for playing political games by not taking up necessary measures as and when required. Taitun, despite the calling of the meeting, is a hast after sidelining the earlier request for holding a special state assembly session. This problem has been boiling for almost one month. Only two days back, the assembly had been prorogued again. Knowingly, the sentiment of the people of Manipur, as well as the emotions of the Manipur, should not be treated like this. Unnecessarily inviting unsolicited environment. We rather appeal to all other political parties, including the Congress. Why? What shall we say and what can be discussed at this juncture? The only alternative is the bill should not be introduced in the Raya Sabha. Even if it is introduced, it should be defeated. ZDU, as an ally of the NDA, we are going to take a very extreme step by opposing the bill in the Raya Agitation against Citizenship Amendment Bill 2016 continued in various parts of the state. Kaisham Tong Ilang Bam Lekai, Long Jam Lekai Maning, Irong Pukri Mapal and Apunba Development Committee jointly organized a protest meet against the contentious bill near Ramlal Paul Higher Secondary School in Kaisham Tong today. Bamdiar Apunba Maira Paibi Loop and Bamdiar Rising Club also jointly staged a sit in against Citizenship Amendment Bill 2016 at the Maira Paibi's Sanglin today. Protesters expressed apprehension over influx of illegal migrants in Manipur once the bill is enacted into an act. They strongly oppose implementation of the bill in northeast states and want of intense agitations including hunger strike until the bill is withdrawn. Students' Union of Imphal College, DM College of Science, Students' Union of Oriental College, Students' Union in separate press releases extended solidarity to the boycott of Republic Day celebration called by Students' Union of Joint Higher Secondary School against Citizenship Amendment Bill 2016. Six student bodies, namely 
IMSU MSF Desam case A. Sukh and AIMS have resolved to protest the passing of Citizenship Amendment Bill 2016 and to demand its complete withdrawal in New Delhi on January 13. Speaking to media at MSU head office, DM College campus today, leader of the six student bodies and MSF president, Narayan Bam Milan, stated that the six student bodies resolved to intensify the ongoing agitation against the bill by taking out protest meets at Delhi's Jantar Mantar, Parliament Street and other areas on January 13. He said, over 200 people, including students and women folks, will leave Imphal to take part in the protests on January 26. Milan mentioned that people from northeast states, including Tripura, will join the protests to be held in collaboration with Manipur Students Association, Delhi and Delhi Association of Muslim Students. He believed that the upcoming protests will have major impact against passing of the bill in winter session of Rajya Sabha from January 31st to February 13th. He urged all the civil society organizations and political parties of the state to support the agitation against the bill. Awang nopo state sing da leiriba puna maki wena ki yamna laibak tiba duga kari gumasi ki bills na ek wala po matamda koi da pangga da bacei ting sai na puna mak tugi yeng zara kanda mai loi lupta rukna pai kalak liba kong tanga si masi mak mani puda leiriba general public loi na loi na CSO sing aduga NGO sing political party sing puna mak na masi support to pom tuai ministry of home affairs ki mai kai digi citizenship on basi apply to ropa tara kisu particular state adugi government na yadaga di yade haiba khoi gi yamna mong marin ta da ba yam immature to ba hei wata sijin na da na ka wang nong problem dam da lai riba general public sing se yam handa wa mong da low ba sima khoi gi students organization taruk wa sinema si yabu ngamoy Student organizations have also resolved to carry out mass protests both in Manipur and New Delhi on the day the Contentious Citizenship Amendment Bill 2016 is produced in the Rajya Sabha. Speaking to media at SSUM office in Kaishampat, General Secretary of Socialist Students Union of Manipur, Bushin Longjam, stated that all Manipur Muslim Students Organization, AMSO, Reform Students Front RSF, Manipur Students Association Delhi, MSAD, all Mitai Pangal Students Union of Manipur and SSUM, along with people of the state, have been demanding to convene a special state assembly session to take decisions against the bill. He said the reluctant nature of the BJP led state government proves that it supports the bill. Bushan condemned that Rajya Sabha MP Khetri Mayum Babananda has not taken his stand on the bill till date. He warned the MP not to act against the interests of the people. The SSUM General Secretary said a parliament march will be taken out in New Delhi and day-long protests and torch rallies will be carried out across Manipur on the day the bill is produced in the Rajya Sabha. Bushin even want of torch rallies to storm Chief Minister's bungalow in demand for Chief Ministers and Birin to step down if the bill is ever passed in the Rajya Sabha. Hujuk pali ba BJP lenga ki CM CM Biran si yam na macin yam na macin ti ba dugum ba jing ba muni ham si yam na hangner ba afam mo ere yon na center da pali ba BJP ki na jing ba sing si su yam na macin ti ba ngay ngay ki ngang ning ba dung ngang ba lo jing ba sing ni ha ba dum yam na hujuk ba sing na hangner eh BJP ki raja sabha ki hujuk hujuk setting MP ere ba baba nanda hari ba si hari ba MP si su hujuk pahu da mahaki masagi cap cap ba firi amat da fungdo pulai tri masimak di mahak masana si ABC si nak kunya sahut le am sung yam Manipur yam bu seta bu ni हाई ना कोई लुप मंगा ना लोगी इंजाय की लाख लाख लिबा 26 जनवरी रिप्लाबिक डे ऐसी डा मेरो ये खरना मखोई मधुर याऊ रे मखोई बॉय को तोगनी हाई ना संचिल लकी बा कंजंग अधु याम ना थाउना लाई बा कंठांग नी हाई ना लुप मंगा ना लोग बगलों नी ना अधु बु मिपुंग खुदी मंग ना सपोर्ट तोगी यू हाई ना Veteran leader of the Congress party, Okram Joy, demanded inclusion of the clause which states that the Ministry of Home Affairs cannot permit citizenship to anyone without the approval of the state government in the Citizenship Amendment Bill 2016. Speaking to media at his residence in Kwakaitel today, Okram Joy condemned the bill as a ploy of the BJP-led central government to create vote bank in view of the upcoming Lok Sabha election and to convert the country into a Hindu land. 
Okram Joy said BJP National President Amit Shah, while addressing a gathering ahead of Lok Sabha election in West Bengal, assured that Bengali refugees will be granted citizenship once the Citizenship Amendment Bill 2016 is enacted into an act. He also demanded to know why the government never cared to give citizenship to Mitais in Myanmar and Tamils in Sri Lanka. The veteran leader of the Congress party maintained that the contradictions between the limitation of the Ministry of Home Affairs and the statement of BJP National President has left the people with utter confusion. Okram Joy termed CAP 2016 as the most controversial bill in the history of India. He advocated for the bill to be discussed first by a select committee or the joint parliamentary committee before passing it in the Rajya Sabha. Party ki makok thongi ba BJP organizational leader president ga ani waafam jina ekoi amukka he na Bharat ki praja singda chaman na bapoli high river citizen amendment bill ki matang da state government ki aya ba yau dragadi aida na palli vasi aingon da di Bharat ki praja singda tau ba asa ubat thok amane na lawe public opinion elicit tau ba ki harsh reading of the bill madu tau ki de citizenship amendment bill se masingi matang da sele committee am amatasu ekoi refer Amokok strongly condemned the statement made by Director of College Development Council, Manipur University, T.H. Ratan Kumar, that Muslims of Manipur are not the indigenous community of the state during a discussion program of Impact News. Manu Hutna on the topic scheduled tribe demand for Mitais on January 21. Speaking to media at Amukok office this afternoon, Amukok spokesperson Muhammad Raiz Ahmad said Muslims of the state are one of the most backward communities and hence Muslim support demand for scheduled tribe status and have been demanding inclusion of Manipuri Muslims in the scheduled tribe list. He maintained that the state will not progress without the development of Muslim inhabitants of the state. Raiz Ahmad demanded clarification from the director at the earliest. Ekhoi masen kangluki khet na ba mayam sina mang da thamaga ekhoi ki chaukhur khong thang dunat tung da thamaga ekhoi chat pagi mawong se ekhoi tok masi haiwa amuko ki mai kei dagi yam na humble oiba apilama Manipur ki prajasing amadi. Stakeholders puna matai koi apil tauzari loi na schedule tribe demand committee ya sida pangan busu saruk yahan biu maram di Manipur da khwai degi he na backward oiriba community ama as per data 2011 amadi housing housing ki oiriba data ki structure da economically socially any any baseline oiba data singda pangan hiram khuding matta community khuding matta ki swathadana layra bani. CAF and PD Minister Karam Shyam loaded Regional College Lelong for producing meritorious students for the past 38 years. He is short of trying his best to upgrade the college into an aided college for better facilities at the earliest. Minister Karam Shyam, who is also the chairman of the college managing committee, acknowledged the plights facing both teaching and non-teaching staffs of the college. Releasing the annual calendar of the college in his quarter at Sanjain Thong today. The minister stated that the college catering to 372 students with 17 departments of both science and art streams under Manipur University is devoid of various grants except for some under the UGC. He said the chief minister and other relevant authorities were apprised on the condition of the college. Apabah kolej sama, wujud na bahu na bahu kanda, ahi sama minister mui na, dah itu sum soi soi dengan logan ni, lagi lagi suah air apa, wajah kaya ama, matam sangat safar orang muka, matam adi surak tena, retire tau kiba, adu ke ni bini piti pangda wa, adu sum sing si koi kerajaan na, properly function tau riba kolej sing si, regional kolej dana tan atau atau bah kolej mai am suh tido aga, adi masih na. Human resource da, di mana ini hari ini baru singi tunggu fuser da, semua macam pang mana na, kerajaan na, yang na data, lawan apa lagi, tanjadu masuk, di lawan juga. 
JAC of all Manipur aided schools employees organization demanded finalization of the pending DPC of aided school teachers and to provide them allowances under a six pay commission within January. The organization has warned a 48 hour statewide bond from February 1st if their demands are not met. Speaking to me, Dad Manipur Press Club today, President of the JAC, Senjam Mani stated that the required approved posts of aided schools are still laying vacant for over two years. He strongly condemned the government for sidelining the grievances of the aided school teachers. Mani said earlier, filling up of the vacant posts was carried out by respective ZDO offices, but now with the task being undertaken by the education department, the procedure is much delayed. The JAC president expressed discontentment that eight schools teachers are not provided six pay when all other departments are provided the same. He drew the attention of the relevant authority to carry out necessary actions before the upcoming Lok Sabha elections mod model code of conduct. Six pedo, some people who are going to say, I have a pangiba pipedo. Ado two thousand ten gi april tangwanda, Leramba, present to give a diedo, forty seven percent, lepo lehido. Ado left to be the sangam, the sun my label to the six pig cari, but the minus on Kahan because Bo Piri, I quit what is a curse of Paramoneva. I quit Manipur, the day is called Gini, who hired a day. Can you mama Kalgi Matiama of PD? It is called Singa, Singa Larica Pilore, and Isn't Lore. You school give uniform PD, P school big PD. I'm asking to know who set a school give women schools in the PA quid PD. Six bedroom. Um, Local residents have won to permanently block the road from Yorbung Kuno Veterinary to Yorbung Itam Bridge in Lamlai constituency if the road is not repaired by January 26. Yorbunkuno Development Committee, Ward Number no. 4, Yorbunkuno Mayrapai B and Youth Sporting Club Yorbunkuno held a joint meeting and resolved to urge the local MLA and other relevant authority to repair the long neglected road. Speaking to media today, a member of Yorbunkuno Mayrapai B, Sri Mayum Mani, said the local MLA remained indifferent to their appeal for repairing the road despite repeated pleas. He said the deplorable road, which remains slushy during monsoons and dusty during dry seasons, brings immense inconveniences to the local residents. He warned that the joint meeting has resolved to block the road permanently if the authority fails to repair it by January 26. Adu thinga do ni bolambian si di adu kima te upul lau do na mayam garisian bata lambian si ada do na mayam upul lau do na kai di mungda saksa bong ngam madre upu kang do na bau do kari kung bong bong ngam madre adu na wana ba po po tu trigi lambian si tang kuntro po mungda da sembi da bata ragadi nami kaktera thing jagran ni na korep tan na re mayam na koi hujig 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 puri ba emeli birian gi manak ta di re mayam na sat bata adu sembi ragi na hai ye hujig po yang jan birak te adu yang jan birak ta bani na koi tang kuntro kung si de hono tang kuntro po mungda da sembi da bata ragadi the Kalambam Ibim Pisak and her two disabled sons are still awaiting for their better days amid chanting of Ache Din slogan by the BJP government. Impact News brings you an exclusive report in this regard. <laughs> Life of a frail 80-year-old widow, Takelambam Ibenpishak and her two disabled sons is an excruciating sight for the onlookers. After her husband, Takelambam Mani passed away, Ibenpishak is doing all that she can to support her family. Her teary eyes says it all about their sorrowful life, which words fails to describe.
ไอ้มึงนี่ไหลตะไลละเจมานะคิดทั้งขังเงียบอ่ะอะตุอะตุมึงไม่ได้เก่งขังเดียบอ่ะไอ้แม่มึงอ่ะคุยกี้จริงโ
85 full rehearsal of parade contingents including student contingents of various schools, state and paramilitary forces, cultural troops was held at Kangla today. ADC to the governor received the parade with, which marched from 1st Manipur Rifles Parade Ground towards Kangla Southern Gate. The parade then passed through Kangla Northern Gate, Kuyatong, Kangla Pad, Kangla Western Gate and finally concluded at its initial point. It may be mentioned that despite boycotting of the upcoming 17th Republic Day celebration by student bodies, student contingents of various schools and colleges took part in today's full parade rehearsal. Parade contingent of Meghalaya Police led by Platoon Commander ABSI and Lingdo is a special parade contingent for this year's Republic Day celebration. It may be recalled that the Constitution of India came into force on January 26, 1950. Republic Day honors the date on which the Constitution of India came into effect, replacing the Government of India Act 1935 as the governing document of India. The nation commemorates the day which represents the true spirit of independent India with pomp and hay. Bishnupur district also held a final full parade rehearsal for the upcoming 17th Republic Day celebration at the district's mini stadium today. 20 contingents comprising of civil police, home guards, Asha and Anganwadi workers and students participated in the final parade rehearsal. On the other hand, various rebel groups of Manipur have boycotted the upcoming 17th Republic Day celebration as in other years. Media coordinator of Korkom, Laibak Ngakpa Luang in a press release warned that fraternal revolutionary parties of WESCA recent have boycotted the Republic Day celebration. Publicity Committee convener of six insurgent groups Alliance for Socialist Unity, Kanglai Park Asuk S. Mangal, in a press release also informed that Asuk has boycotted Republic Day celebration in WESEA region. KCP People's War Group in a separate press release has also boycotted the 17th Republic Day celebration in Manipur. Secretary Publicity and Propaganda of Kanglai Park Communist Party Military Joint Committee KCP MJC Ningthe Mangang in a press release said the outfit has imposed a 12th hour general strife from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. of January 26 against the 17th Republic Day celebration. Security has beefed up ahead of Republic Day in Imphal Valley. As a part of security measures, Imphal West Commando team under the supervision of additional SP operation of Imphal West Police, TH Krishna Tombi carried out cordon and search operations in Major Kul, Kalibari, Delhi Motors and Dharamsala areas of Thangal Bazaar from 7.50 to 8.25 this morning. 230 individuals were verified and 8 individuals without proper identification probes were handed over to city police station for further verification. The team further continued calming operation at Governor Road and Pauna Bazaar from 2.40 to 3.30 this afternoon. 633 individuals were verified and 19 individuals without proper identification probes were picked up and handed over to city police station for further verification. A combined team of Bishnupur District Police, SDPO Moirang, Reserve Line and Women Personnel under the supervision of additional SP operation, KSH Manihar also carried out cordon and search operations at Bishnupur Ward No. 5 and 6 in Bishnupur District today. 425 individuals were verified during drive carried out from 5.30 to 7 this morning. Four individuals without proper identification proofs were handed over to Bishnupur Police Station for further verification. NIT students of Singhat and Bihyang region met with President Ramnath Kovind at Rashtrapati Bhavan during their recent 14 days tour organized by Singhat Battalion Assam Rifles. The visiting students raised their grievances to the President. 
as a part of the expedition to Delhi and Agra. The students visited Kutub Minar, Red Fort, India Gate, Taj Mahal, National Museum. They also met with Delhi region's GOC and participated in the year's Army Day celebration. Familiarize yourself with EVM and VVPAT Lucky Draw was held today as a part of the EVM and VVPAT campaign in relation to National Voters Day at State CEO Office Lumfield today. Speaking to media, State Chief Election Officer CEO PK Singh, IAS assured that arrangements are in place for the upcoming Lok Sabha election in the state. He assured that EVM and VVPAT security and other necessary arrangements for the election will be completed by February last week. In the earlier elections, the, we used to have, you know, sometimes people used to have cardboard boxes, sometimes, uh, you know, non-standardized items. This time, the commission has given very clear instructions that it will be what kind of material, what will be the width, what will be the height, how it will be kept, what will be printed on it. Essentially, it's a corrugated sheet, uh, 4 mm thick, which we are having. It's closed on uh, three sides, so there's a uh, complete secrecy of voting. And uh, the symbol of the election commission, the polling station name, assembly constituency name, everything will be written on that. And just opposite to that, there will be a camera. In most cases, there will be live web streaming. In some other cases, it will be a static camera to record the actual voting procedure. So we get to see in each and every polling station with the proof that polling station number, polling station name, date of poll, assembly constituency, parliamentary constituency and the voters who are coming in. What is happening inside can't be seen because that is for the secrecy of voting. But that way we will get to maintain the free and fair conduct of uh, the Lok Sabha elections. Councillor of Ward No. 9, Thaubal Municipal Council and Ward Development Committee jointly organized one-day farmer registration cards distribution program for beneficiaries of Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana at the community hall of the ward today. EVO District Agriculture Office, Thaubal stressed the need to acquire the cards on the occasion. 210 farmer agriculture cards, 8 PMJAY cards, 40 ration cards and one Chief Minister Gihaksil Gitengbang scheme card were distributed by District Agriculture Officer Thaubal on the occasion. Langthabal Kaupam village hosts Gangai festival celebration with traditional fervor and gaiety. The greatest living festival of Zalia Rong community, also known as Chakan Gangai, is celebrated mainly by devotees of Tinkau Rakwang. Gangmai Yangba Kabui Thaugai Ahal, village head of Langthabal Kaupam Pajabi Kabui, member of Hyangthang Gram Panchayat, and many people in the area attended the celebration. Speaking on the occasion, Gangmai wished for peace, communal integrity, prosperity and new beginning for the state. Dance performances by married women mark the fifth day of the festival. As observed across the country, All India Fort Work Block Manipur State Committee also observed the 122nd birth anniversary of India's freedom fighter Netaji Subhas Chandra Bose at Manipur Press Club today. Chairman of the committee, Kwairakpam Apantho and many eminent persons attended the event. Attendees eulogized the contribution of Netaji in India's freedom struggle on the occasion. Pinnacle Academy Lelong Branch Lelong Kalai Kong held its second Foundation Day celebration at the school campus today. Talent shows by students of the school mesmerized the audience. Meditory students, excellent teachers, parents and other well wishes of the school were felicitated on the occasion. And in sports news, the International Weightlifting Federation has revoked the provisional suspension on two-time Commonwealth Games gold medalist K. Sanjita Chenu for a failed top taste. IWF's legal counsel, Eva Irfa, said in an email to the National Federation and Sanjita that on the basis of the information at its disposal, it has been decided that 
the provisional suspension shall be lifted as on 22nd January. A final decision on the matter is expected in the coming days. The 25-year-old weightlifter had tested positive of anabolic steroid testosterone. Her urine sample was taken prior to the World Championships in United States in November 2017 and she was put under provisional suspension from 15th of May last year. Talking to news agency PTI from her native place in Manipur, Sanjita said she is relieved and happy as she had never taken any banned substance in her career. na dop lo bi ba matam da ju chexin na lahon ni nge aduga test ta ba matam da ju phajana ta hon ni nge chexin na reason piram dai matam da ju akhoina ta ri ji chum mi bra chum da bra hai ba yam chexin na yeng ba matung da si reason je lok tho an ni nge mangau ri ba ai gi mamang da ai gi competition ka yam miss ta ugre ai gi phanga da ba ewa su si gi maram da in lo miss ta ugre ding de gi mo mi am gi support da gi ai na si mai pa pa porok pa ngam ba ni si hai jan ni nge aduga matung da ju dum support ta bi yo ai makha ta na ju sana ja gi gain kha Marub FC Hairok and SSAN Tangtam Lairak beat the opponents in the fourth Nilesh Wahangbam state level open futsal football tournament. In the 16th league match played today, Marub FC Hairok defeated Toiba FC Yumnam Huidrom 5 2. The winning goals were scored by Tej Premjit El Roshind and Kech Arun while the two goals of the defeated team were scored by Mairaba and Krishnananda. In the 17th, League match played today, SSA and Thangchom Lairak defeated Changangai Light FC 5-2. The winning goals were scored by E. Mike Dennis, Y. Gibson and K. Alex, while the two goals of the losing team were scored by Mahesh and Tondun. Altogether, 20 football teams subdivided into four groups are participating in a tournament jointly organized by the organizing committee of Nilesh Wahengbam Futsal Football Tournament and Usha Bhavan Sagolban Sayang. Five league matches of the tournament will be played tomorrow. Before we conclude, let's take a look at the headlines once again. JDU Manipur State Unit condemns Citizenship Amendment Bill 2016, forsakes all political party meeting to discuss the bill called by Chief Minister N. Birin on January 28. Student bodies resolve to intensify agitation against CAP 2016 by carrying out protest meets towards rallies both in Manipur and New Delhi. Congress leader Okram Joy condemns CAP 2016 as BJP's ploy to woo voters in view of upcoming Lok Sabha election and to convert India into Hindu land. Amokok demands Director of College Development Council, Manipur University, to clarify his statement that Muslims of Manipur are not indigenous inhabitants of Manipur. Manipur gears up for 17th Republic Day celebration amid boycott called by student bodies and insurgent groups. An International Weightlifting Federation revokes provisional suspension on CWG gold medalist K. Sanjita Chenu for a failed dop taste.